Hello, this is Ashi from Crafting with Ashi, and welcome to this video. This is the card I'm making today. So it's really simple, really pretty little card. So let me show you how I did it. Now this is a card we made recently in our online car club, and I am um, I host an online car club in my Facebook group, and we make four to five little projects, and um, I send out the kits for everyone to make. Um, the projects and everything in the kit is included bar the, the stamped image but as per Stampin' Up! rules I can't send a stamped image and then we have a Facebook live that evening and we craft together we make the projects together and we have a great time so do check that out and this is one of the cards we made so I thought I'd share it with you here on my YouTube channel so the stamp set we're going to use is this one called Sweetest Time and we're going to use this sentiment that says for you with Christmas cheer I've got everything set up in my Stamparatus and I'm going to stamp it actually in, sorry for the noise, real red ink. Okay. And this is a companion piece to the other card that I'm making as well. There's another one from Car Club we're making and you'll see, I'll link them both on my YouTube channel when they're done. And they're two companion cards. So that's our um, stamping done. So close up our ink pad. And I'm just going to give everything a little clean. Like that. Because otherwise real red ink has a tendency, as you can see, to get everywhere. So I'm just going to put this out of harm's way over there. Okay, so this is a piece of Whisper White. And then I've got a piece here of real red. The Whisper White piece measures 9.5 by 3.5 and, and the Real Red is 10 by 4. And I'm just going to stick one to the other for now. Okay, so we have a nice mat. Okay. So I'm going to bring in another piece of Whisper White. Yes, we need a piece of Shaded Spruce. And I'm going to show you the stamp set we're going to use. It's this one called Sweetest Border Dies. And I've been using the heck out of this scent. And we're going to use this little piece here. And then I'm going to have a look and see what else I've got here. I've got tons of bits. This little piece here, I'm going to also cut out. And I'm going to cut this piece out, I think, three times whereas this piece is only going to cut, cut out one time so I'm going to put that all through my die cutting machine and I'll be back and we've cut out a little bit and this is our die cut so we just need to ease it out a little bit um, just a bit delicate so don't don't rush it just take your time to ease out all these little bits bring back our piece of whisper white and this is whisper white measures 14.35 centimeters by 10 centimeters and we're just going to place our die cut here on the corner. So I'm just going to get my um, silicone mat so I can do some gluing. And you can choose which way you want it. I'm trying to think which way do I want it. Yeah, that'll do. So we're going to put some glue on the back here. And I'm just going to use Tombow because of all of these titchy little bits here. Tombow will work the best. You can get into all these little nooks and crannies and everything. So I'm just putting a tiny dots of glue here, there and everywhere. And if a bit does ooze out, don't get too distressed about it because Tombow dries clear. So you won't be any the wiser. I would say that if you're going to use a clue, make sure you use one that dries clear like Tombow. So that if you make a boo-boo, it won't be noticeable. You can also use the adhesive sheet to, to um, stick this down as well. That would work perfectly fine. Okay, so now we're just going to put this on our piece of Whisper White and line it up. And this is why it's also good to have the Tombow because it gives you the little bit of wiggle room to line everything up. 
and then we're just going to press it down like that okay and if you want to press a bit harder you can just do it from the reverse maybe like that so let's put that away for now bring back our card base our card base is real red and this is um, a standard A6 card base that's an A4 sheet cut in half and then folded in half and I'll just put a tombow down okay and I love this I always love red and green together I think they just look so pretty so now I'm just going to get out some dimensionals because I didn't get them out before those are my baby ones, I don't want those. You can use these edges, definitely. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Oh, I didn't get ready very well, did I? Here we go, scissors. So, this is why I like edges. One nice long strip. Just makes life so much easier. I've got one dimensional left on there, and then I've got these. So there we go. So now I've used up all of my dimensionals, so that's always good. I haven't wasted anything. I've got a bit more edge here at the top, and I'm going to use this already because I'm really in no mood to take off any more backs than I have to. Okay, and one more there. Lovely jubbly. Give it a bit of a press down so everything's hopefully stuck. Take the backs off these things. Trying to take the back off one that already had the back off. That's always going to be useful. <laughs> okay, right, time to stick you down, baby shoes. So there we go, you are down. Okay, so now we have our little bits of decoration. So these are also going to be stuck with some Tombow. So bring back our little matty and put this there. Give the Tombow a bit of a shake. And just dot there. Some glue on. Okay, and then we're just going to put these down wherever we want, wherever we feel like, just like that. So clear the decks. Oh, finishing touches. I haven't finished yet. <sighs> these are our. Uh, what are they called? something gems, wonderful gems, and they are truly wonderful. And I'm going to put some here. And then I'm going to use some of these small ones here. And these white gems, these clearer ones, would be great if you wanted to make this into looking like mistletoe. Okay, that is enough. Now we are finished. So they're the two cards. What do you think? I think they really look happy. So this is, as I said, one of the cards we made in our car club. Um, so if you want to join, check that out. Because it's a lot of fun, I assure you. If you enjoyed this video, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you want more information about this project, supply list, etc., it'll be on the blog post on my website. And the links to that and all my social media links, including the Facebook group, are in the description box below. So thank you once again, and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.